As winter in the valley fades away, hop farms begin to wake up. Equipment that has sat idle since the last year's harvest begins to get put back to work. Repairs and maintenance happen both on equipment and in the fields. As the fields dry from a wet winter, crews are able to start prepping them for the hops, about to begin their journey up to the top of the trellises. The first shoots are cut back to the dirt. This process, called crowning, helps to keep the threat of disease down. It also clears the way for new growth by removing the remnants of last year. Rhizomes, cuttings from the root of the hop plant, are harvested from last year's crowns. These cuttings are selected and planted in either starter pots or are planted directly into the field, depending on the variety. It'll be at least a year of growth until they reach their full harvest potential. The cover crop, which helps with moisture over the winter, is plowed into the soil to add organic matter and aid in topsoil retention. Before the hops can grow up to the trellises, posts and other parts may need to be repaired. Crews check posts for rot and replace the ones that might not last through the summer. If a trellis collapses, it can make picking nearly impossible. Once the repairs have been made, the twine can be strung. Stringing crews go through the fields and tie each knot by hand. The hops will climb the twine over the next six months. Diseases are a constant problem for hops. It's important to check plants for them early in the growing season. Scientists walk fields and check any plants that may have early signs of downy mildew or other diseases. Genetic crosses and new varieties are tested in greenhouses. The strongest and most disease resistant will get planted in the future. The Oregon Hop Commission provides funding, direction, and hands-on production assistance in testing new public hop varieties. Willamette Valley hop growers have a strong connection to their environments and each other. It's a small community of growers who watch over their crops for multiple generations. Great care is taken throughout the entire spring to provide the best environment for these plants to grow in beautiful cones in the late summer. These hops will be used in some fantastic beers across the country and around the world. <laughs>